Hi friends, today we'll be reviewing the Sony 85mm f1.8 lens. This is an 85mm focal length which is great for portraits. This is also f1.8 and gives super shallow depth of field and works excellent in low light. At f1.8 the background blur looks awesome. The lens itself has an auto and manual focus switch as well as a specialized programmable button. I sometimes like to use it as a way to trigger autofocus, but there's many other things you can do with it. Below the button, we have a physical switch for configuring autofocus or manual focus. The lens is designed for the FE mount. This means we get the actual 85 millimeter focal length. And if we use it in crop mode, we can effectively get about 127 millimeter focal length. The lens uses a 67 millimeter filter and I've installed a basic UV filter on the front. I'll do some basic focus speed tests so you can see how fast it can focus. I've got it set for center point autofocus and we'll be alternating it with the stuffy and the plant in the background. As you can see, it focuses reasonably quick and does a nice job. With respect to the weight, the lens is about 13 ounces and it is a bit heavier but reasonably good for the focal length. The length of the lens is a bit over 3 inches long and with the lens hood it adds about an extra inch and a half. The lens is very sharp and does an amazing job. We'll take a few photos here so you can see. This photo I just took is using silent shutter at f1.8. Let me zoom in so we can see and pixel peep. As you can see, the hair on the toy is very sharp. Every little fiber is visible. Now I'll go through a manual focus test so you can see how it looks. The focus ring here is using metal knurled grips. I love these so much more than the rubberized ones. Now we'll do a simple focus test again with the toy and the plant. Right on the eyes. Now let's take a look at it. Wow, it's super sharp and looks just amazing. This was at ISO 1600 at 1 200th of a second at f1.8. The last test I'd like to do focuses on the plant. Wow, you can see all the little details on the plant. The last thing I wanted to touch on is the background blur, aka bokeh. It's very pretty. It has a nice soft look to the background and looks very smooth. Overall, we love this camera lens. It's held up great and it's one of our favorite portrait lenses that we own. Hope this helps you and thanks for watching.